Hey everyone, Casey here from Clientric. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create email automations using Zoho CRM workflows. So diving in, we are now at our home screen here in Zoho CRM. We are going to go directly to our workflow rules over here. And as always, we are going to create a new workflow. Let's call it email automation. Just going to type that in there. And so we're going to do this one on, let's say a lead comes in and we want to automate the entire email series. So this is what we're going to be working on today. So we're going to click on any time that a lead is created. We want to send this out. So all leads, it doesn't matter what we basically want to create, um, an email campaign that goes out and make sure that, uh, they get, they stay in touch. So if we create our first email notification, we want to create a hello, Let's just say hello one. I like to go about saying um, like email 1.1, email 1.2, etc. So let's just go hello uh, 1.0. So I'm going to choose the recipient who is the email of this lead, and we're going to say select template. So in this case, we're actually just going to create a template right now while we're here, just so you can see the entire process. We're going to say blank over here and uh, skip all that stuff. All right, so now that we're here, we're gonna say hello 1.0 and we're gonna say thanks for subscribing. So let's just say this is an email subscription. Uh, we wanna put in a uh, personalization of it. So if you type in the hashtag symbol, you are going to get options of what what you want to choose from that is connected to this lead. So we can use leads, users, organization, lead owner, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to say we want the leads information and we actually want to pull in the leads first name. So we want the first name. So we want to say here, hi, first name. Thanks so much for subscribing. I hope you enjoy our content. look out for our next email in one day. Um, in this case, you could use it for whatever uh, you may need. What I've done in the past is a initial email will be received. And then let's say in one business day, two business days, you might want to send out another uh, follow up or something else entirely. This could be used for follow up to try and get people to uh, engage more with your content or engage more with you yourself. Generally, what people do is they'll send out a Zoho bookings link with it and that will um, entice them to book a meeting with you. So that's probably one of the most generally used uh, tips that people do do is they send out a booking link, whether it's Zoho or Zoho, or whether it's Zoom or Zoho bookings, they'll send out that link in it and try to get someone to book a meeting with them. And then this email will just keep getting sent out similar to it. Um, but yeah, so let's go with that. So we're just going to save that one and we're going to put it in a new folder. We're going to say, um, the hello folder because everything here is hello. And then we're going to save and then we're going to refresh and then we're going to choose this one. So we're going to save and associate this hello 1.0. And then let's say we want to send up another one to continue to automate this. We want to actually choose, uh, one day. However, first we actually need to set up our business days as well. If we want to do business days, so we can do regular days, which includes the weekend, or we can also choose, um, choose business days in order to do that. We actually have to jump out of this. I'm just going to pause this for a second. All right. So in order for us to get to the business hours and set that up in business days, we actually have to go to the settings up here. Then we go to the company details and then we want to set business hours, new business hours. And we just want to do 24 hours, uh, five days a week. So let's just click that. And now we've set up the business hours. So let's say we go back here. Um, we do not have the option, so we'll have to reload this. Likely that means we're going to have to redo it all, but that's okay. We didn't get too far anyway. So on a record action, create, uh, all leads next. We want to set up the email notification. Hello 1.0, cause it's already there. And now we're here, we can actually select business hour or days as well. 
So we're going to select business days, one business day after the rule trigger time, we want to create a new email called hello to hello 1.2 or 1.1, I guess it would be if I knew my math. So we're going to choose the again, the same person, same individual, we don't have a template. In this case, I'm just going to select this because I think you're starting to get the idea, you just select hello 1.1. Now we could do another action and we can do uh, another scheduled action. Let's say uh, that's two business days. We're just going to flood them with uh, emails. So we're going to continue to go through this process, create email notification. We're going to go hello 1.2, select template. We're going to just use this one again, choose the recipients as the lead email. And we can do this three more times. So we can do up to five scheduled actions and that's about it. So that's the max that you can actually do. So just to show you, let's go next um, email notification. We're just going to select these again to make it even quicker. And let's do four business days, just flooding them with emails right now. Probably not the best idea to do in, uh, in reality, but Hey, you never know what'll get you a sale, right? So let's just do one more. And as you can see, we've hit the end of what we can do for our scheduled actions. So that is the max you can do. And this is actually a really good email campaign. Um, if you're looking for more uh, lead journey campaign or lead management, uh, probably Zoho uh, marketing automation and journeys is gonna be your best bet. But this is also a good avenue if you want a bit more personalization and pull in some information from the CRM. So I hope that's been helpful. As always, please like this video, uh, comment, subscribe, and we'll continue to create some awesome content for you. So look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.